Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Yes. Now to start reeling them in. Bernard! We got all the funds you need! Already? Wow, you sure work fast. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Favarian Goodies? Hey! A little feedback on the name, please? A nod of the head, perhaps? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Um, that sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best darn snack shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customers. Traveler? Paimon? What a surprise! Morning, Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmph. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the Princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. Uh, Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments. <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinlesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree. I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vinlesa Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter, in vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival!
possible. <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time I checked the menu. Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You all need to calm down. Oh. Recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, die Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste, and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. Die Heilige Sinfonie is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol, yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Vinalesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wine sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your troubles! In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi-prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The Traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, 
Your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. <laughs> oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Pavonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! That's right, and it makes Paimon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so... So fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all. All right, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there.
Thank you. 